guys, what's up? We've recently been to LA and we shot an event for a company called Wayna Sports. Wayna Sports is a sub company for Wayna Media, which is owned by Gary Vee. You may know his motivational videos on Instagram or YouTube. If not, check him out because there's a lot of value in it. I'm gonna make Monday morning my bitch. I'm gonna make you Saturday Monday morning. That's what I wanna do every morning. And that's what I want from you. So the production company who was supposed to shoot this gig actually had to cancel short notice. So we were so lucky to get the job. Rain Sports was so happy with us uh, filming this event that they actually offered us to shoot an ad with one of the NFL players. And that led to another job with another NFL player and even more jobs after that. So the first job we shot was with Oakland Raider starting fullback Keith Smith. So the idea here was to create a short ad uh, from his off-seasonal workout. So one was actually outside in the field and the other one was in the weight room. Nothing was scripted and we didn't really have a lot of time, so we tried to use as many angles, as many cameras as possible. The main camera I shot with the Canon C200, filmed everything in RAW and my main lens was the Sigma 18 35 1.8. And later on when we had uh, the first round of shots, I actually switched to the 70 200 to get more closer shots of the action. I really liked the image quality of the Sigma, although I didn't really ended up using it for other shoots later because when you want to record audio, the autofocus is way louder than the Canon 16 to 35. So for run and gun situations, which this lens was actually supposed to be for, we didn't really utilize it that much. But for that shoot, it uh, worked actually very well and I was amazed by the image quality. So for these kind of rough sports shoots, I really like going handheld with the C200 to give this all a little bit of shaky and rough look like you're really following the action. But since we also wanted to get some smooth shots, Bell actually utilized the gimbal. Hi, my name is Bell. You may know me from being in front of the camera. Now I'm going to talk a little bit about my work behind the camera because I'm usually the behind the scenes girl. I also edit all the videos we have on our YouTube channel, not all the videos, just the tutorials, the reviews, the behind the scenes stuff. Today, Damien gave me the chance to talk a little bit about my work behind the camera because this time I wasn't only the behind the scenes girl, I also was second shooter for the actual ad. So I used the 1DX on the Giant Grain 2 with the 16 to 35. Why? Usually we use the 24 1.4 by Canon, which is our go-to lens for this kind of stuff. But this time I wanted to have more flexibility in my shots. With the 1DX I was shooting 4K60 to match it with the C200, which worked out great in the end. I also used a 5D Mark IV with the 50mm because we only had two hours and it needed to be quick. So I didn't want to switch lenses on the gimbal to just switch cameras and have a different focal length because I was doing the wide angle shot and then a close up. So in the final edit, I was actually really surprised about how well all these three cameras matched. Even though we shot in RAW, we shot in 4K and we shot in 1080. And looking at the graded final images, I couldn't even tell which was shot on which, which is really impressive. And that actually made a lot of sense to utilize all three cameras to get as many shots in a short period of time as possible. 
I hope you like this little behind the scenes. I also hope you like that Bell was in front of the camera because it doesn't really make a lot of sense uh, for me to talk about stuff that she's doing. So we actually think about integrating her more into these talking heads in the future as well. Let us know if you actually like that or not in the comment section below. And again, if you really like these behind the scenes, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our YouTube channel for more finished videos, tutorials, behind the scenes, you know the drill. So I'll see you on the next one.